in looking at our census, we realized that we had about 25% of our patients were veterans and looking at a way that we could meet their needs specifically. Um, a lot of what we do is a friendly visit and um, we try to match up people, uh, similar interests, similar backgrounds. And in thinking about that, um, we decided to pursue a program where we could actually incorporate those that are serving our country now to go visit the patients that we serve today. Doing a little bit of research, um, I realized that we had the Mobilization Command very close by our office. I soon found out that there was a single marine program that they look for opportunities to get involved in the community. And I did the presentation that very day, I had 16 Marines come up and say, let's go. So um, it was very, very uh, rewarding uh, to have such a positive uh, feedback. For them to share the experience with someone who is serving today is much more powerful and much more meaningful to them than it is for them to, to share it with myself. What they really wanted to share was their story. And many of them wanted to feel like they had been validated. The story, I mean, I love the stories, the fact the big stories were how there was still such camaraderie between military services, whether it was Marines, Air Force, Navy, Army, like the fact that when you're on the battle battlefield, all that matters is that you all are brothers in a way. I love that. One of our veterans, he was a music lover, and just me just sitting down and just, you know, playing on the piano just, just a couple songs was just, just meant the world to him, just because that's something that he couldn't necessarily do himself anymore, and just, just be able to even just give something as small as that, just, just to really move him, it, 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 it got to me, it got to my heart. The one with Mr. McMahon, um, a veteran who didn't really want us to come in the beginning, but, you know, changed his mind. When we get there, it was, the conversation was just wonderful. He was upbeat, he had a lot to talk about, and he didn't want us to leave. And um, that pretty much, it, it just left me with a smile on my face, knowing that in the beginning he didn't want us to be there, changed his mind, we came, we had a nice conversation, enjoyed his company, and it just meant a lot to me, and I think that it meant a lot to him as the veteran. We went to visit him on a Tuesday. He died that Friday, and when we left the house, he told his wife, I can die now. Um, he was able to settle some things that had been bothering him for a long time. 